my name's Orville Haney, and uh, this is our family farm. We uh, milk about 180 cows and raise all their offspring. We have about 600 cattle, and we farm around 850 acres, um, primarily corn for silage and, and alfalfa for hay for the cattle. And I farm with my dad and my brother here on the Kosciuszko Fulton County line. But we raise registered Holstein cattle. Uh, we have quite a few red and white cattle. You've got black and white Holsteins and you've got red and white Holsteins and, and they take the sun a little bit better. We're what I call a hybrid dairy. We uh, graze the cattle in the summertime and still implement some feed in the feed lines. But in the wintertime, we, they're confined and they stay in the buildings and they eat out of the bunk primarily when there's not grass growing. But we try to get the best of both worlds. Uh, we, we're a closed herd, we raise all of our own young stalk and we make our own fertilizer and it's kind of a circle of life here. This time of year is the busy time through the summer and this is when we harvest our forage and harvest our hay and our silage and, and that sort of thing and so that keeps us busy pretty much for the full day. But we've got the feeding chores morning and evening and the cattle and the calves they need fed twice a day and the cattle need milk twice a day. So this, this operation runs 24-7, 365. Our biggest input cost is our supplement. We buy a low protein supplement. We buy some mineral. Uh, we have some pharmaceutical costs. But what keeps this family farm competitive is we're able to make our own inputs and that kind of shields us from the volatility of the markets. And when milk price is low and feed costs are high, we're very fortunate to have our own feed that we grew here. Uh, with our own fertilizer for the most part and that helps keep us competitive. When a baby calf is born you're relatively two years away from when she's going to give milk and they start giving milk after they have their baby calf and each cow will give an average of industry average is 80 pounds so at eight pounds a gallon that's 10 pounds a day so each milking they'll give about five gallons of milk and our cattle here will enjoy five or six lactations. They'll average about seven years of life. And then when they get older and they give less milk, they'll enter the food chain uh, for beef. And the uh, milk goes from the cow through our system into a bulk tank that is refrigerated. And then the truck comes each day and picks up the milk and it's taken to town where it is uh, pasteurized. The process itself is very sanitary. We, we spend a lot on cleaning agents to make sure that our stainless steel pipelines are very sanitary and we, we strive to keep everything very wholesome because we're dealing with food and we protect the food source and we want people to have a very quality product. The vast majority of farms in Indiana are family farms and I feel very fortunate to get to work with my brother and my father and my kids, they have their cousins here, and they all come out and they help. It's a great educational experience for the children. We open up our doors to the elementary schools. Every child in the school corporation gets to tour this farm when they're a kindergartner. They get to come back again when they're a second grader. And we just want the general public to know that the farmer is your friend. And we, we take care of our community. We take care of our environment. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions that if our urban neighbors were to come and get a nice snapshot of this rural atmosphere and our family farm atmosphere, I think that we could find some common ground and I think there's a lot of opportunity to get rid of some of the misconceptions that take place with modern agriculture because we're really trying to do real good for our community and our environment and uh, the two go hand in hand and, and that's what we we strive to do through Farm Bureau. We want our neighbors to know that we care about our community and care about them and, and we want them to know that we're doing our best to make the very best po possible product for them. My name's Orville Haney. This is our farm, Haney Hilltop Holsteins, and I've found my voice with Farm Bureau and just real happy to be a part of it.